every girl on earth disappeared. Sensational. If a girl says she got in a car accident, always assume it's her fault. Be a man. Japanese are going extinct, and there's only one thing you can do to help us, and it is go out there and start producing with Japanese. Because we are going extinct, Japanese are getting rarer. I know this is not the best site that you're looking at, but it might be your last time that you're looking at real Japanese girl on TikTok. So yeah, come to Japan and help us, please. Oh, shit, life! <laughs> Are you currently dating someone right now? I'm in single for so long time. Why? Maybe I studied really hard in my art high school, so I've been really long in single. As you see, I'm not pretty. What? Koreans, they like skinny girls and you're skinny, so you're pretty. I'm not skinny, I'm on my diet. I work out really hard. I'm not pretty in Korea. What's your ideal type? I don't really care about appearance, but I do care about height and some... I really care about personality and some style, like clothes style and music taste is really important. Music style, I really love rock, hard rock some like 80 or 90s hard rock and some new metal. Since I'm an art major and I'm really into fashion and I like some street fashion, um, like I'm wearing... What's your Instagram ID? J-A-E, J-A-E, 0321. Can you like briefly introduce yourself? My name is Hee and I'm 22 years old and I'm in Ihua Women's University. Good job, my brother. We rocking with you. Birthday! Look at all this. The big two five. What do you think? <laughs> Baby. Baby. Are you okay? Baby? Baby? I need to tell you something. <laughs> what? What happened? Here we go. Baby? You okay? Okay, look, I need you to listen to me first, okay? What the fuck? Baby. Oh my god. Baby, what the f? You scared me, stop. What's wrong? This is nice. It's... I can't do this anymore. Good what are you talking about? What? I cheated on you. You met someone else. And I really, really like him. I know this part not what you expect to hear right now, but I just like just couldn't do this right now. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. We don't need to hear anymore. If she cheats, she belongs to the streets. There's no way that I'm gonna date a man that makes under 200k a year. Shoot, I can only pick one, huh? Oh yeah, she's oh. OC with it, bro. Telling all male inhabitants, we must stay focused. All right, so look, I think I think you like 23. And I feel like, in all honesty, if you're not 23, you're 26, 22, 21, 20, 19. I'm 17. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. You're going to jail. You're, you're going, going to jail. jail. Hi, my name is Karishma. This is my first dream. <laughs> Hi, my name is Karishma. This is my last dream. That's a candle, mate. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Women. <laughs> Top three worst eggs in a man, part one.
Only fans detected, opinion rejected. Shut up, bitch! What's one thing you wish people understood about you more? Nothing. Nothing, no. Fuck you. You're goddamn right. My big idiot ex-girlfriend just walked in with her ugly baby father. I'm gonna suck your mother, girl. I got you, girl, 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 <laughs> just need to know from a men's perspective are y'all waiting on girls to talk to you first like are you waiting on a girl no not interested the bears can approach them <laughs> another thing i'll never understand about women is why they'll leave a good relationship with a good dude who treats them right and has aspirations for not only himself, but you too, for a piece of shit dude who's either a felon or a frat dude with a nicotine addiction and a perm. Like, there's no in between. Uh, one of my good friends just got dumped by his girlfriend of like a year, and she's in a sorority, instantly got with a frat dude who I guess is known for being a notorious cheater, got cheated on herself, and then came crawling back. Like, what was your thought process to begin with, if there even was one? Um, and I see it so often, like a girl will just leave a good relationship with a dude who's, I guess, like a nice guy, and then just get fucked over by some dickhead, and then come crawling back. Like, they always come back. It, it never fails. But if you're one of these girls, and you've done this, and you've gotten hurt by some dickhead, and you left a good relationship, what was your thought process? Because I'm genuinely, like, baffled by it. I was baffled yesterday by another thing, but I'm confused. Like, you guys confuse the fuck out of me. Women don't run on logic. They run on feelings and emotions. So whichever guy can make her feel a certain crazy way, up and down, left and right, sideways, take on a roller coaster of emotions, that's whom she'll go for. And remember, if you treat her like a celebrity, she will treat you like a fan. Just look at Prince Harry. Three signs you're a simp. Uh, you're a simp! Number one, spend money. If you're steadily spending money on this person, child, you really love them, don't you? But you're gonna be broke bankrupt unless you got your own motion going on if you don't you spending money on this person that you don't even know is gonna last okay is it the same on both sides is your partner spending money too or is it just you because to me it sounds like you're being used you didn't like that did you used number two always on the phone with this person you get some free time and you're calling this person all the time you're your peace your happiness your heart your world your earth you're everything. Congratulations. Now if y'all break up, then what? You're gonna have to find some me time in that free time, aren't you? Mm. Three, you stop hanging out with your friends. You choosing your relationship over your friends? Certified simp. Relationship don't last, who you gonna run back to? Your friends. Treat them good. Who knows how long your relationship is gonna last? It might not. Learn how to balance the two things. Time with your partner and time with your friends. You can't just drop one. It's not that hard. You a simp! I don't like makeup. I'm against makeup. I don't think it's good for women, and I don't think they really need to be using it, honestly. I think it takes yes. away. <laughs> That's awesome. Makeup is... It's capitalizing on women's insecurities when it's something that they can easily fix. I think it takes away from a, woman, a woman's natural beauty, and also, it is so bad for you. Like... You think about how skin absorbs things. When you read the ingredients on a foundation bottle, what is in it? You can't even pronounce it. It's yeah. a bunch of crap that you're putting on your face. And that is in turn making your skin worse. So you have to keep buying more foundation to yeah. cover up what it's creating. Damn. What do you think a good man wants? Do you think he wants a girl who's selling herself? <laughs> no. For $10 a month online? <laughs> no. But there's more to me than just my industry, you know? It's you. So yeah. you can think about how you're looking at this through the prism of you. So th me, from me, his me. perspective? Yeah, from his perspective. From the perspective of him. But I wouldn't even want to be involved with anybody who... Yeah, that's doesn't... about you again. <laughs> <laughs> can we make it about him now? Well, I guess he would be valid because... Yes, grinding on another man. Would you say, ah, did, you know, you just really are kind of insecure. You need to just relax while I go over here and grind all over this guy. Do you, would you say that to him? No. Why? Because I'm not working. I'm not working though. So what's the delineation? I don't know. 
All right, guys, welcome to Horsemanship with Brandy. Today, I'm having to work on JoJo. Uh, it's a little bit cold, and he's been in a stall for a couple of days, so he is trying to, he's trying to... Uh, Get you off? He's trying to... <laughs> trying to come unglued. <laughs> so, anyways, he's having a bad day, so I'm not going to stop riding him until he calms down. So, our short ride, just became a longer ride until uh, until he finds his brain in there. But right now it's just dinging around. It's about the size of a pecan, I think. So anyways, I just wanted to show you that, uh, you know, it's not always perfect. And sometimes you uh, decide to do something short, but it takes more time. And they're not on your time schedule. You're on their time schedule. So you got to take the time that it takes. So there you go. What is this? Hey, Brandy, it seems to be pretty clear to me that your horse doesn't like you riding him. I think he's a bit worried he's about to snap in half. There's a comment here and it says, when does Jojo get a turn? <laughs> 